And we're back. I'm really excited to talk about two more areas of your kitchen that you might not have thought are related to your weight loss. And one is the kitchen tools and gadgets you currently have. A lot of us may have collected from birthdays, from uh, seeing too many as seen on TV commercials, maybe from even our wedding gifts, a lot of devices in our house, spiralizers, blenders, food processors, panini makers, pasta makers, who knows what kind of stuff you might have in your kitchen. I want you to really go through your cabinets and ask yourself, what do I use on a regular basis? And what do I wish I used more? I have an air fryer, a juicer, a food processor. All of these things are great. A sandwich maker. Did you know you can make cauliflower toast in your sandwich maker? There's so many healthy ways that you can use all of these things. But which ones do you actually want to be using on a regular basis? I'm really not going to be juicing in the winter. So my juicer goes to the very back of the cabinet and my air fryer to the front. The sandwich maker, which my kids use all the time and I use often to make you know, vegetable toast or other things, goes front. Take a minute and organize ease of use. I keep mine in a cabinet right under where the socket is that I'm going to use it. So I can lift it up, easily use it, and then put it back when I'm done. My blender lives on my counter next to my coffee pot because it's used every single day. On the weekend, on our Shabbat, we don't use electricity. It goes away, comes back out Saturday night. So you want to have an easy system to keep all of your gizmos and gadgets together. On the same note, there are things you might want to have multiples of. I always have multiple vegetable peelers, knives, and cutting boards so that when I'm meal prepping, maybe my kids want to jump in and help me. Maybe they want to be making a salad or preparing their lunches at the same time you want to be preparing dinner for that evening. Having multiple cutting boards, knives, and vegetable peelers is actually going to make it way easier for you to cook and prepare healthy food. The last thing in terms of tools, techniques, things that you need is to have really good um, pots and pans. Now you wanna either have stainless steel or you wanna have really good stoneware that doesn't have a Teflon or a non-specific coating that could come off into your food. They're really unhealthy. And even though they were very bad for a while to help with low-fat cooking, there are so many ways that you could do low-fat cooking with stoneware, or excellent high quality stainless steel without getting toxins and chemicals that come off from the non-stick pots and pans into your food. And we want to make sure that we're really doing this for our overall health as well as weight loss. So take a look through your cookware, through your pantry, and through your um, gadgets and gizmos. Don't eat the ones you don't need and organize in terms of how often you use them, their real estate location, in your cabinet.